Hello, UiPath experts. In this video, we will see about uh, a requirement video. So navigate to the botsdna.com. Within that, there is a project called Pay Power Bill. So the project name is the Pay Power Bill. So if you navigate to this bots DNA, the Pay Power Bill looks like this one. So in this video, we will see about the what is the requirements, what we have to do with this project. So once you navigate to this one, the problem statement is, so this is a paying the power bills in electrical uh, department. So there is a, some bill collectors are there. So these are all the bill collectors listed in this, this particular uh, electrical department. So these bill collectors will get the payment from the customers through a phone pay. So we will get the phone pay list here. So they will upload onto the, this zip file. So let me download this zip file uh, here. I'm just creating one file, uh, bills. Here you can download. So this is a zip file, just uh, unzip here. If you unzip here, automatically this, contains all the all the uh, payment details so what the bill collectors will do bill collectors will reach out to the customers every monthly and they will get the payment as a phone pay so they will get uh, okay so phone pay so the customers will just pay the amount to the their phone pay account okay so if you just open one pdf it is looks like this one the transaction details of that particular the customer the transaction id is there and the, who is the bill collector so ram the, the to whom they paid see so if you see here ram krishna is there okay so ram krishna how much amount they paid and what is the date and time they paid so when it is paid okay so once they uh, get the payment approved then they will let me open another one okay so this is also ram krishna here, uh, if you see the Ravi, Ravi Rao, right? Ravi Rao, Ravi Rao is there, okay. So these are all the bill collectors, okay. So to whom they paid and when they paid, what time, what date, and these things are all, and how much they paid, and what is the transaction ID. So we have to load into this application, the electrical bills, okay. So there is a, some operator, so one operator, so she will just uh, get this, um, download these files and open one by one, just open the one by one and uh, just go here and fill the information. So how, how they will fill. So if you just observe all the payments, the payments is starting with the DAE. The file is starting with the DAE. Some is a DA, DAE and DN is there. EB is there. There is a three types of payments. So the same thing is available here. EB is a this one and she will and D D B A. So what is that? Uh, D A E. D A E is this one. So if you see the URL, D A E is this one, the first one. Okay, D A E bill payment. And the other one is like a D N is this one. Okay. So First of all, we have to select, suppose for example, so we are taking this one, so DAE. So we have to select the DAE initially. Okay. They will select the DAE, the corresponding bill type and the number. So the number is the number of this one. So the number is this here. Here is the number of that particular customer. Okay, so if you remove the DAE, the remaining, so if you remove the DN, the remaining number is a, actually the installation number that customer number, okay, so number, and the transaction, so, so paid, if you go here, this is a transaction without T, you have to copy without T, and paste here, the transaction, what is the amount, the amount is uh, this one, paste here, and when they paid, they paid on January 12th, uh, 12th January and uh, 2022. Mm, 22. And what is the time? So 12, 12 a.m., right? 12, 12 a.m. So 12, 12, 
AM or PM. So AM, okay. So you have to select the paid when they paid. So from this particular records, okay. This line, so you have to split into the multiple things like a hour, minute, uh, this one. And then, so to whom it, it is paid? So Ramakrishna, right? So which collector? Ramakrishna. And you have to fill the information like a, so the um, security question <clears throat> and click on the accept and click on the pay. So once you pay now, so you, it will generate the payment transaction ID. So what the <clears throat> what you have to do? So you have to keep this payment transaction ID, copy that payment transaction ID, and go to the same file and just closing the file here. Go to the same file name, rename that file with the transaction ID at the end, and move this one to the completed. So if I just use the completed folder, just move this one to the completed. So that is the main task. So every day the bill, bill uh, electrical operator is doing this one. So again, we go here. So we have a, a actual number and the transaction number, which is a paid, the payment transaction number. So again, take this one. So if it's just take the DN, so select the DN here. Uh, DN, this is a DN, okay, and do the same thing. So if I just open the initial, remove the DN and this one, okay. This is the number of the customer and uh, transaction number without T from the phone pay and the amount. And when it is uh, done, so 21st January, 21st January 2022. And what is the time? So 9, 3 a.m. 9 a.m. Okay. And who is a pet? Charantej, right? Charantej is already selected. Okay. So use the, uh, the security question and done so once you done so what we have to do so the, the next is take this chain here at the end go to the end of that underscore the payment transaction so that is the next step and move this one to the completed folder okay so this is a, what the robot has to do so that is the requirement so usually every month uh, a person is doing so every day so they will get a lot of transactions and it, yeah, so now the we are automating this one so you just try with the any rp tool to automate this task thank you very much